It's a video going around, a viral video about a pastor by the name of Keon Henderson. Now, I see him a lot on Instagram and YouTube, but for some reason, I have never clicked on his video. He's a very popular pastor. And so he was in a ministry, and you could tell the spirit was moving through the ministry. It wasn't no loud thing. You could tell it was a very intimate feeling, like the soft singing, and it seemed like he was in prayer. And there was a lady, I want to say she was in the choir, and she was, ooh, ooh, ooh. And you could tell people looking like, oh my God. Because I've been in churches like that, where a pastor, you giving a good word, and people who really never heard the word about to get their life changed, and somebody next to them, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> And so he went over to her like, hey, hush, hush, shut her up, shut her up, shut her up. And she shut it up immediately, right? So it was a storm in the comments. The videos getting shared everywhere. People like, he was wrong. You can't tell somebody how to praise and worship. Some people was like, man, people be doing the most in church. So it was very divided, right? And so I'm going to let y'all know my thoughts on that, right? So I didn't grow up in church. So the atmosphere is all kind of new to me. A lot of times I used to try to go to church, but when people were just doing the most, I'm like, oh my God, let me get out of here. <laughs> but one time I had started, um, I had moved to Atlanta and I went to a church in oh, in College Park called World Changers. And, you know, I'm coming straight from the block. And so I'm listening to this pastor and he breaking down scripture and he relating it to uh, life now. And it was just hitting home. And I knew right then my life was changing and I wanted to join that church. And then all of a distraction just got, ah, 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 ah. and then I see people start walking out, people leaving. And the pastor got no like, hey, hey, cut it out. It's people's lives being changed right now. And she's like, I can't help it. It's the Holy Spirit. He said, the Holy Spirit makes you out like a fool. I said, yeah, it's my church. <laughs> so anyway, I felt him. Shut up. <laughs> I felt it right. But I was like, he wrong, bro. The way he said it. You snap your fingers like it's a damn kid or a dog. That's a full grown woman with probably a husband and kids of her own. I feel he handled it disrespectfully. But sometimes, you know, uh, people can be a distraction. You don't know what people are going through in life and they probably there for the first time to get their life changed. It might be a person ready to blow their brains out and they, you know, in the spirit and you and you're like and distracting, like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and off myself. Or it might be a person who God want to use and, um, and they might get that seed from that pastor and it might spark something and this kid might go on and change the world and bring hundreds of thousands and millions of people in the body of Christ, but you probably distracted the spirit moving and distracted the word and might have made him stop paying attention because you hooting and hollering. And so, you know, a lot of people are like, you can't help somebody, you can't help how you praise the word. Like, you know what? But you doing what you want to do can be a distraction to thousands of people. And, you know, and so I was having a uh, conversation with someone and it was like, you know what? I don't think he was talking to her. He got discernment. He understood that was a demonic spirit of distraction. Because when the devil want to mess up something, he used distraction and he used the vision. And she was like, uh, no, nah, he wasn't talking to her. He stopped. Get this devil. Like he's snapping at the devil. Like, stop. No, no. We're not going to talk. Like, no, we try, We don't try to interrupt the flow of God. And so a lot of times when a devil want to interfere, he calls distraction or division, you know, and so. But my thoughts on that, I agree with the pastor, man. It's a, like, come on, man. A lot of times, people, a lot of shit be for attention, for real. I'm going to just keep it all the way 100. I went to church with this girl. The whole way there, she beating Gucci, man, and smoking weed and shit. She getting to church. She still like, she texting and stuff. And then, so now it's time. She get up there, and she fall out. But it wasn't no real faint. It wasn't just like, boom, you passed out. Like she fell out, braced herself for the fall, then laid down. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And everybody looking like, bitch, get up. You faking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, people like, Rob, you need to be a pastor. No, I can't be no pastor. Because I like, hey, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to preach, bro. 
So that's what I had to say. Shut the fuck up. We, I'm trying to preach. I got to get this word to these people because we're trying to impact lives. We need to impact lives here so we can go home and impact our community. And so you doing all that shit is a distraction. I rebuke you, Satan. Shut the fuck up. That's what I would have said. And so I agree with dude. But snapping your finger, I think that was kind of harsh. But I agree. You know what I'm saying? For real.